is one of the most popular sushi rolls that came over from the US. This sushi roll is so popular that it has become a standard on every sushi menu. In the 70s, this delicacy was invented in the city of Vancouver, Canada by the Japanese chef Hidekazu Tojo. Hidekazu noticed that his customers did not like the raw fish and seaweed traditionally used in sushi. So he decided to make some adjustments and turn the roll inside out to hide the black seaweed. And many of his customers were from Los Angeles and they loved this roll. That's why this sushi roll got the name California roll. Now, the first inside roll or uramaki was born and revolutionized the entire sushi roll. Now you know its history, let's get ready to roll. Instead of raw fish, Chef Chojo used surimi, better known as imitation crab. Along with avocado and cucumber, this is the base of dish sushi roll. Take a ripe avocado, cut it in half and remove the stone. Then remove the skin and now cut your avocado in nice straight strips. Put a little bit of lime, lemon or lime juice on it so the avocado doesn't turn brown. Next, take a cucumber, wash it and cut it in half. Scrape out the seeds with a spoon, then cut the cucumber lengthwise into thin strips. For this sushi roll, you will only use half a nora sheet, so fold it neatly through the middle and cut or tear the sheet in two parts. A nori sheet has one long side and one slightly shorter side. Look closely, because a nori sheet is 20 by 18 centimeters. Fold your nori sheet so that you have two halves of 10 by 18 centimeters. A nori sheet has a rough and a smooth side. Put the rough side up on your bamboo mat. That's where we're going to put the sushi rice. Wet your hands a little bit so the sushi rice doesn't stick to your hands. Use the water and rice vinegar you made for it. Spread a thin layer of sushi rice over your entire nori sheet. Then grab both corners of your nori sheet with your hands and turn your nori sheet over in one go. The rice will now come to lay on the bottom. Rest assured, nothing will fly through your kitchen as the rice will stick to the nori sheet. In the center of your nori sheet, place your crab sticks, your cucumber and your avocado. Make sure the whole thing is not too thick or you won't be able to fold the roll closed. We're now going to roll the sushi. Place your thumbs under the mat, fold it over the filling while holding the filling, the crab, the cucumber and avocado in place with your thumbs. These should not shift. Pick up the mat and gently roll on. Pause a few times to firm up the roll by applying pressure along the length of the bamboo mat. Roll or fold the mat in a little further and reinforce the roll again. Continue until the rice touches and you can close the roll. Then roll the mat all the way out so that your sushi roll appears. Now it's time to put on the orange wasago or tobiko on top. Using a teaspoon or your hands, spread the small eggs over your sushi roll. Turn a few times and make sure your entire sushi roll is covered. Now cover the roll with clear cling film. Use the bamboo mat to press the foil against the roll. The cling film will fix the roll and the rice. Shape the sushi and also make the ends of the roll perfect. We're now going to cut the roll into eight equal pieces. Keep the foil on it as this will make cutting easy. Wet your knife a little bit. This will keep the rice from sticking to your knife. Use a razor sharp knife, otherwise it will be a chore and that's a waste of all your work. To make pieces of equal size, cut the sushi in roll in half, then into quarters and then into eighths. If you notice that while cutting your knife is getting sticky and starting to drag, just clean your knife and moisturize it again. Cutting your roll is done in one fluid motion through the roll. When you've cut all the pieces, gently remove the, and discard your foil. Your California roll is ready to be served. Serve your sushi with some nice soy sauce, a sprinkle of wasabi and some pickled ginger. Enjoy your sushi!